Hello everybody, welcome to episode number 8 of the Trailblazer League series. Uh, the last one I was trying to come and catch some chins, and then I went to plant a box trap, and I realized I hadn't completed the Eagle's Peak quest. So that's the next thing I'm going to be doing. One thing though before that, I planted like 7 total trees yesterday, uh, and they're all really really good XP, so I'm going to set up a farming counter and go through all of those and see how much XP I get. Sadly, one of my pineapple plants died, so I missed out on a ton of XP. Uh, but with this last one here, another 55k XP drop, uh, 310,000 farming XP gained from this run, and also up to level 70. If you guys do end up enjoying the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It does really help me out a ton. So with that out of the way, now I'm going to go and do the Eagle's Peak quest. I don't even know if this is a league task or not. 30,000 hunter XP and it wasn't a league task rip. All right, so that annoying detour is out of the way. My goal right now is to get myself to level 80. Uh, the reason I'm getting 80 is because I can catch herbivores once I'm level 80, and there's a bunch of 250 point tasks for catching those. I'm gonna be here a little longer than 80 though. I wanna catch between like 300 and 400 of these. Uh, I wanna go to the MM2 tunnels and throw those for maybe like level 70 ranged as well, so I can eventually get all the base 70 stats. Uh, from what I can remember, you catch around 300 of these per hour, and with having four traps, I'll probably be here for like an hour and 20 minutes or so. All right, so I caught 50 of these, and for some reason, I haven't gotten the task. I think maybe you have to be in this area right here to get it. I figured this entire area was, but it might just be up there. Oh, uh, you know what it is? You need to catch them in the cave that you need the Hard Western Provinces diary for. Uh, so that's really unfortunate. I'm still going to continue doing this here regardless, though. Level 80 hunter. Uh, I'm up to 166 seven chins. I could plant five traps now though, so it's gonna make it go a little bit faster. For those of you guys that might end up wanting to copy my setup, I'm gonna be putting that one right here. 400 red chins caught, um, up to level 83 hunter now. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to get me to the 70 range I want, to be honest, uh, especially using blue dehyde. Uh, the rates that I got from my other video, I had full void, and I also had ranging potions. Even if I don't manage to get to 70, I'll just get that from doing Slayer once I unlock Mori. Getting up here, uh, as annoying as usual, but I finally made it. If I come back here and decide to do 99 range or 200 mil range, I'll get better gear. For now, I just wanna throw them and get some levels. I got two prayer potions. Uh, this honestly might just be enough for me to throw all 400. Uh, the monkeys down there drop windows prey pots though so i can just pick those up if i need more if you guys have never done this before this is the corner that i like to use you go over here and then you spam left and right back and forth and what that's going to do is stack all the monkeys on a single spot uh, once you have a decent amount of them stacked turn on auto retaliate and what you're going to want to do every time your character throws a chin you're going to click in the opposite corner and it's as simple as just doing this uh something that's really op on top of this usually when these un aggro you'd have to run all the way uh, to the west to re-aggro them, but with the last recall relic, I can just teleport to the monastery, recharge my prayer, and then last recall back here. So I can use last recall to re-aggro these. I ended up using the last recall just every single time my prayer was running low. When I hit like five, I'd just straight up teleport to the monastery, and from there I'd pray at the altar and teleport back. This pretty much just let me keep eagle eye up without having to worry about prey pots. Uh, I miscalculated the heck out of this. Uh, I got up to level 74, almost level 75. Uh, also almost up to 1800 total now. Uh, next thing I'm going to be doing is going and catching herbivore. Before I go to herbivore, there's one more thing I need to get, and that is the magic secateurs. You can buy them from this guy, Malignus Mortifier. This is just south of Falador. Uh, they cost 40k to buy, so it's a decent amount of money. Uh, I need these for farming herbs anyway, so it's worth getting them. As I mentioned earlier, there's a bunch of tasks here. There's catch a herbivore 100 times, 250 times, and 500 times, and all three of those are two. 150 points each. Uh, I'd say on average you could probably catch like 60 per hour. I don't want to do the 500 times one. That's going to take way too long. I'd rather come back here at a higher herb level so I get better herbs. Uh, so I'm just going to be doing the 250 one and that's going to be probably like four and a half hours. I haven't done this for a while so it's going to take a bit until I remember all these routes. So since I don't have a herb sack, once my inventory gets full, I'm just going to use the seed pod to teleport and I'm going to go and bank my herbs up here and then use last recall to teleport back and just continue doing it. I didn't realize I actually hit this level but 1800 total level. Uh, only 24 herbie in so far it's been probably about a half an hour there's the first task for catching 100 of them uh, also from this i'm going to be getting a bunch of unidentified fossils i'm at around 10 to 15 of these right now in my bank and i could turn these in pretty much for prayer experience uh, so along with all the herbs I'm getting, which is actually a ton, I'm not even halfway done and I have so many of them in my bank. Uh, also, I got from level 85 to 90 hunter already. I just want to say I feel kind of dumb. I didn't even take into consideration that this would be like a perfect time for me to alk all the stuff that I have since I have to alk like a thousand items. Originally, I told you guys this would take me four hours. Uh, it ended up taking like six, so... Uh, a bit longer, but 250 Herbies caught, 250 more points. I got a ton of levels from this, up to level 74 magic from all the Elks I had to do. Uh, also 67 Herb from just cleaning all the Herbs that I got. 
and I went from 85 to almost level 97 Hunter as well. And this is all the herbs that I ended up getting. 241 Guams, um, which obviously on this game mode are a lot better than they are in the main game. On second thought of thinking about this, I'm going to save all my herbs until I unlock the last relic because it'll make my XP from 12 to 16 times. And I looked at how many points I get for base level 70s and it's only 100 points. So I think it's going to be worth saving these until I get more XP from them. Uh, from all the Alks though, almost 1.2 million GP. I'm going to use this money to make Broad Arrows. I'm going to use the Broad Arrows to get up to level 80. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff leading up to that, like making um, a Magic Short Bow and a few other 100 point tasks. Buying these wasn't as much as I thought it would be. Uh, to get all the way from level 56 to 80 for me, uh, it's gonna end up costing, it looks like around 700K. I also need to go and buy 13,000 feathers. And there's the feathers bot. Uh, last thing is to make all the arrow shafts. Uh, the best way I think to do these is go to this spot here in Sears and cut the oaks. And like I said, I'm just going to be making these into arrow shafts. Uh, I'm making a of them really quick. Uh, so even though 13k looks like a lot, it's still going to go super fast. Before I can uh, start getting all the XP from these, I still need to make all these into headless arrows. I'm just going to passively do all this fletching while I'm running around the game doing tasks. Uh, and at this point, it's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try my best to rush the new area. I need to do 60 total tasks for that. I still have my list, which is, I think, like 25 tasks that are all worth a lot of points. Once I finish those, I'm just going to look through all the easy tasks and try to finish as many as I can. A lot of the early tasks I have on here, I can't really do fletching with, though. Uh, and the first one is to burn 100 U logs, so I need to go and cut 100 more of those. I don't know if this was intended or not, but I tried to cut these with the Infernal Axe to get the tasks as it would burn them when I cut them, and it wasn't working. So you have to do this task the normal way of just cutting them and lighting the logs, uh, and it's going to be the same for the Cook 100 Shark tasks that I need to do now. Thankfully, I fished 100 of these before for another task, so I already have 100 in my bank. I'm not going to cook all these. I'll probably end up burning like 5 to 10 of them, so I'm going to have to fish a few more. I ended up burning about 12 sharks. I had to go and get a few more of those. Thankfully, I'm 99 on fishing so it went really fast uh next up i have a bunch of tasks to do with mining i need to get myself from 84 to 85 uh, so i can mine rune i need to make a rune bar for a task uh there's also a few other ones on here uh, mine some more of the rune pickaxe uh, get 20 gold nuggets from MLM and mine a 50 Addy Ore. Uh, for the 50 Addy Ore, I'm assuming it's going to be like everything else I've done. So I'm just going to be mining that with a rune pickaxe. Uh, I don't really trust it to uh, do the task if I use my Infernal. And that's level 85 mining. Mine some ore with a rune pickaxe. I decided to mine Mithril since I need to make a Myth Grapple as well for another task. Mine 50 Addy Ore completed. Smelt a rune bar, 100 more points, um, putting me up to almost 11,000. Create a Mithril Grapple. This one's two tasks. One is for catching any sort of salamander. And the next one is catching a specifically a red salamander. So that's going to be a total of 100 more points. Enter the Wizard's Guild. Oh, that's the one I didn't see coming from fletching these. Base level 60s, 100 more points. Defeat a Wall Beast. Make a Pineapple Pizza. Equip a Spottier Cape. Complete the Demon Slayer Quest. Complete a Soul's Bane. Defeat a Skeletal Wyvern. And finally, kill any Wyvern on Fossil Island. Uh, there's another task in there to kill another Wyvern, but I need, I think, 82 Slayer for that, so I'll go back for that later. At uh, this point, though, I've gone through pretty much all of my lists. There's only a few things left. Uh, fletch a magic short bow, fletch a rune crossbow, which I can't do yet since I haven't finished making all my broad arrows. Once again, I'm at that point where I need to edit my video and I also need to go and look through some tasks. Uh, there's only 200 point tasks left to do, so I need to find a way to do 41 more tasks so I can unlock Maritania. I've gone through most of the medium and hard tasks I can do, so it's all coming down to the easy ones. I'm just hoping I'm able to find enough to do. All right, so it's been uh, quite a while. It's crazy that in the time it takes me to edit a video and look through some tasks, I can gain 8.3 million cooking XP. I am up to 35 million XP there and also 16 mil in fishing. So in terms of the tasks I have, I was actually able to find like 15 more medium tasks. It's going to give me a lot more points. Overall though, I was only able to find 36 out of the 43 tasks I need, uh, meaning the seven last tasks I do are probably going to be really annoying ones that I tried to put off as long as possible. I had a lot of you guys ask me to keep showing all the tasks I do, so I'm going to show all the medium tasks I do, but when I get down to the easy tasks, I'm just going to do those on my own time and do one update when I finish all of them. Uh, we're going to be starting this off with one of the tasks that I was super confused on. Uh, it's to pick a pineapple on Karamja. I thought it meant you had to farm a pineapple plant here and, and pick it from the fruit tree patch, uh, but it's right here, like next to the house portals. So if you guys are struggling trying to figure that one out, it's right here. I just did the Varrock Medium Diary, so I got another 50 points from that. Uh, also an XP lamp from this. This is going to be 90k XP if I use it now and 120k if I wait to use it until I have 16 times XP rates. The only problem with lamps like these is 
is if you see down here, you can't put these in your bank. Uh, I could have waited to come and collect this until I had the uh, higher XP rates, but honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys, uh, I'll completely forget to do that. Uh, so I'm just using it now. It's only 30k XP. It's not really that big a difference in the long run. Uh, so that's level 69 herb. Before I continue doing my tasks, uh, it's been a full day, so it means it's time for me to check all of my fruit trees again. Once again, every single thing I planted grew without dying. Uh, 72 to 75 farming there. And that was 343k more XP. Surprised I was able to get this one. It looks like they fixed it. Make a potion with an amulet of chemistry. Make 30 prayer potions. Wow, I got this one a lot faster than I thought I was going to. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this thing. Uh, but pretty much at Fossil Island, there's these things you can cut. And this cap that I got is a 1 in 100 drop rate. I, I cut like 5 or 6 of these and I got it already. Quick break here. I need to go and kill 30 black dragons. So I figure this will help me. And I've been meaning to make this for a while. So I'm going to make a combat bracelet really quick. I decided to make this over a glory. Uh, because I already have the Amulet of Strength, I have Bronze Gloves in this slot, and this is just such a huge upgrade for that. If I went and made a Glory, I'd still have, like, no bonus in my Glove slots. If I get another Dragonstone, though, the next thing is going to be Glory for sure. That task took quite a while to kill 30 Black Dragons, but doing that, I also got another Strength level. This one's a double task, farming any herb from the Troll's Stronghold and also picking an ear at leaf. Craft 100 unpowered orbs. Uh, two more tasks simply from moving my house around. Uh, one 10 point task is to move my house to Taverly and another 50 point task to move it to Yenil. Equip a full a green dragon hut set. Equip an elemental battle staff. Uh, shout out to my friend Tom for telling me about this. I had no idea this was a thing. So when you finish the big chompy bird hunting quest, all you have to do is right click on your ogre bow and check it and you automatically have a thousand choppy kills. And then all you have to do is talk to Rance and ask him for hats, uh, and then spam your spacebar until they fully fill your inventory. And after that, you can pretty much just spam click through all of them. And you should get three tasks finished. One's 10 points, one's 50 points, and the other one is 100 points. Fill a medium stash unit. The one I found the easiest to do was the green dehyde chaps, steel kite shield, and ring of forging. And this is just in the gnome stronghold in the second floor of the course. Nice little 240k XP drop there. Ferment 100 jugs of wine. This one was really annoying because getting the grapes from this chest, like everyone's buying them, so the worlds were pretty empty. Uh, finish the observatory quest. is one of the last medium ones that I have to do. The other ones are all revolving around fletching. Uh, I was able to start making these broad arrows now, so I'm up to 16 on fletching. Uh, once I hit level 80, I'll show those to you guys. But for now, I'm going to be going through all these easy tasks I have. And like I said, there's about 10 to 15 of them. Most of them are just quests. Uh, right now I need 22 tasks total. I'm gonna go through some of those and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it's been a while since the last one. I have eight tasks left to go, two of which I'm about to complete right now. Uh, there's one for equipping a U short bow. Uh, and the next one is fletch a magic short bow. So I'm down to a total of six left now. Uh, something really nice about this, and I'm going through the update right now, um, they changed the red chin, so um, the spot I was hunting in before, I can get that task now uh, without having to go into the private area, so that's going to put me at 5, and another one they changed is killing an abbey spec, they changed that to killing a fire giant, so I can also do that, that's going to put me at 4. Uh, I'm going to try to do the easy valley diary, uh, easy clue scroll, 20 nuggets from MLM, uh, and then I need one more task, so... Um, I need to upload this video. I was gonna try my best to get through this, uh, but it's around the time I usually upload So I'll definitely be able to unlock the next region in the next video And I'll also a hundred percent get the last relic and I'll be able to start doing Slayer uh, The progress on this account is definitely coming along really nice. Hopefully see you guys tomorrow in the next video I'm gonna try my best to upload again tomorrow uh, But look forward to me going for black mask and starting doing Slayer